Raptor Tough and Tintable Protective Coating. In this movie, we show you how easy it is to transform your vehicle. By the end, you'll be desperate to Raptor your ride. Before you begin, Upol highly recommends the use of personal protective equipment consisting of latex or nitrile gloves, safety glasses, protective overalls and an appropriate spray mask. So, with the correct PPE in place, let's show you how Raptor can transform and protect your vehicle. We asked ourselves how can you promote a product without seeing it in action? The answer, the Raptor Land Rover. Over one week, our Upol team stripped, prepared and painted the vehicle including all the added extras. Here's how it was done. Preparation is key in achieving a tough, durable Raptor finish. Using P180 abrasive discs on a dual-action sander, our body shop team prepared the vehicle body. Any broken areas exposing bare metal required an etch primer, in this case, Acidate. With its outstanding performance and ease of application, Raptor is the ultimate protective coating that can be easily applied to many substrates in various textures and colors. Preparation of the Land Rover included cleaning, degreasing, abrading, masking and the application of primers where needed in readiness for Raptor. Ok, what's in the box? There are 4 bottles of Raptor with the supplied hardener. Add 250ml of the supplied hardener to each 750ml Raptor bottle and shake well for 2 minutes. Designed and manufactured for easy application, Raptor can be applied using many different methods such as conventional spray guns, shoots guns, roller or brush, creating a variety of textures. We specifically wanted an overall coarse texture for the Land Rover body and used a shoots gun, which attached directly onto the activated Raptor bottle. Spraying at a distance of between 50 and 75 centimeters in a sweeping motion with the air pressure between 4.5 to 5.5 bar set at the gun, our team hit the spray booth applying two coats. Raptor is fast and easy to apply. With the main body sprayed, the team turned their focus onto the added extras, preparing and repeating the full process. We recommend that you apply two to three coats of Raptor to obtain full protection. Don't forget your flash-off period in between coats. Remember, Raptor gives you the option to create different textures using different application methods. Less than a week's work, mission accomplished. The Raptor Land Rover. With Raptor, you Pole have developed a tough, easy-to-use versatile product to protect your vehicle as well as giving you the opportunity to create a cool, awesome finish. When are you going to Raptor your ride? Raptor – Tough and Tintable Protective Coating Before you begin, Upol highly recommends the use of personal protective equipment consisting of latex or nitrile gloves, safety glasses, protective overalls and an appropriate spray mask. Make sure that you always prepare the substrate. Thoroughly clean and dry the surface. Remove all loose materials, then clean with a degreaser and dry again. We recommend using professional lint-free wipes as this reduces the risk of any microfibers getting onto the substrate prior to painting. Abrade the surface with no coarser than P180 grit sandpaper using either a dual action palm sander or by hand. We recommend using Upol's red abrasive pads for those awkward and hard to reach areas. Degrease, then dry. For plastics, apply an adhesion promoter such as Grip4. This allows for optimal adhesion. Let it dry for 20 minutes. Any localized exposed bare metal areas require an etch primer. Two coats of etch primer are needed, such as Upol's Acidate. The surface is now ready for Raptor application. Raptor – Tough and Tintable Protective Coating Before you begin, Upol highly recommends the use of personal protective equipment consisting of latex or nitrile gloves, safety glasses, protective overalls and an appropriate spray mask. Make sure that you always prepare the substrate. Thoroughly clean and dry the surface. Remove all loose materials, then clean with a degreaser and dry again. 
we recommend using professional lint-free wipes as this reduces the risk of any microfibers getting onto the substrate prior to painting. Abrade the surface with no coarser than P180 grit sandpaper using either a dual action palm sander or by hand. We recommend using U-Pol's red abrasive pads for those awkward and hard to reach areas. Degrease then dry. For plastics, apply an adhesion promoter such as Grip4. This allows for optimal adhesion. Let it dry for 20 minutes. Any localized exposed bare metal areas require an etch primer. Two coats of etch primer are needed, such as U-Pol's Acidate. The surface is now ready for Raptor application. Our Raptor application set contains a 750ml bottle of Raptor and a 250ml hardener. For immediate usage, Raptor preparation is as easy as it says on the box. Fill, shake and shoot. Pour all of the provided hardener into the Raptor bottle and shake thoroughly, holding the lid with your hand as you shake. Once the solutions have been mixed, you have an hour's pot life at 20 degrees C. Thinning tips when using an HVLP gun. Raptor has a mixing ratio of 3 to 1 outside of its packaging and can be diluted up to 20% with the recommended thinner S2041 as an example. The use of a measuring cup or measuring stick is recommended. Do not add any more than the recommended ratio of thinners as it can cause curing problems. Tinting tips. If you want to tint your Raptor, we highly recommend the use of a measuring cup or measuring stick. Raptor has a mixing ratio of 3 to 1 outside of its packaging. Measure the desired ratio of color up to a recommended 10% of solvent-based toner, solvent base coat, or 2PK solvent paint. If using a two-pack color, please ensure it's activated prior to addition to avoid undercure. Please note, Raptor is not recommended with waterborne paint systems, and only 5% color can be added to the Raptor bottle. Anything above must be used in a measuring cup to avoid overspill. Do not add any more than the recommended ratio as it can cause curing problems. Slip-resistant additives. To achieve a slip-resistant finish as defined by British Standard 79762, Raptor traction can be added to the activated Raptor. Hardener and Raptor combined. Recommended. 200 grams per litre, 100 grams per 500 millilitres, etc. This is recommended to be applied as the final coat. Pour the activated Raptor mixture onto a paint tray. Use a fine roller for a flat effect and a coarse roller for a coarse texture. Cover the roller with Raptor, making sure that you do not saturate it as this can affect the texture result. Carefully roll the paint onto the surface in long, uniform strokes, with medium pressure, watching out for too many roller lines. Apply two coats of Raptor, allowing for flash-off periods in between coats. Your finished result should look like this. Hi, Mark Thomas with UPOL. In this second Raptor video, I'll be showing you how to properly prepare a painted surface as well as the procedure for using Raptor as a truck bed liner as well as a durable texture coating on the exterior of a fender. Remember, always use personal protection equipment that consists of latex or nitro gloves, safety glasses, a particle mask when sanding, and a respirator when spraying. Surface preparation can vary a bit depending on the substrate that you're working with, but no matter what the surface, the key to success is in the prep. In this example, step one is to use compressed air and a blowgun to remove as much loose dirt and debris as possible. Step two is to clean and degrease the surface using a solvent or water-based wax and grease remover to remove any surface contaminants. Step three is using 120 to 180 grit sandpaper on a DA to sand the surface. Use a red scuff pad to get into the valleys and the areas where the sander doesn't reach. When using a scuff pad, make sure that the area is well scuffed to ensure sufficient mechanical adhesion. If you can't sand an area well, apply Grip4 Adhesion Promoter. Make sure that there are no shiny spots when you are finished. Some technicians will also use a nylon bed brush for this application. After you finish sanding, take the air hose and blow out the bed again. Raptor should not be sprayed over bare metal, aluminum, or galvanized surfaces. So step four is to apply Acid 8 Etch Primer directly over any bare metal areas. This provides corrosion protection and a suitable surface for Raptor to bond to. Step five is to mix the Raptor as outlined in the previous video. In this demonstration, we're using Tenable Raptor. 100 milliliters of white base coat toner is added to each bottle of Tenable Raptor base. Step six, 
The final step is attaching the gun, adjusting the air pressure, and applying the material. Keep the gun between 24 and 32 inches from the surface and use a sweeping motion to apply the Raptor. Be sure to keep the gun moving so that you don't get any excessive material buildup in one spot. If you want to apply more than one coat, add additional texture, or even out any light spots you've seen in the first coat, allow 60 minute flash time between coats and reapply. Achieving a different look or texture is very easy. All you do is increase or decrease the distance from the surface, change the gun speed, or adjust the air pressure. As a final example, using a Gravity Feed HVLP spray gun, I'm going to apply Raptor to this fender so that you can see the types of texture that you can get. This makes a very durable protective coating that is very popular with 4x4 ATV and off-road vehicles. In closing, Raptor is a durable truck bed liner. It's a protective exterior coating. Raptor can be tinted a variety of colors, even white. It can be sprayed, brushed, or rolled. Raptor is waterproof, UV resistant, and won't fade. Raptor reduces noise and vibration. It's chemically resistant. Easy to use, just fill, shake, and shoot. In this video, we'll be demonstrating the Raptor Professional Very Nozzle Gun, showing the multiple textures that can be achieved with the simple turn of the nozzle. Before you begin, UPOL highly recommends the use of personal protective equipment, consisting of latex or nitrile gloves, safety glasses, protective overalls, and an appropriate spray mask. The example textures shown in this video are all created with air pressure set at 3.5 bar at a distance of 50 centimeters. For a light texture, set the nozzle at two rotations, ensuring it is locked in place for consistency. Keeping the air pressure set at 3.5 bar at a distance of 50 centimeters an additional two rotations provides an alternative texture option. Again, locking the nozzle in position to ensure a consistent finish. A further two rotations sees yet another texture option. At eight rotations, a heavy finish can be produced. Lightweight and easy to use. Locking nozzle for consistency and repeatability. Multiple textures are achievable without the need to add thinners or replace the nozzle. For even more texture options, adjust the air pressure or increase-decrease distance accordingly. <laughs> 